Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So apparently a security researcher has used a tool called Windows Down Data to bypass and lower versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating systems. Now apparently um, this is what you call intelligence software and this Windows Down Data can hijack the Windows update process and make completely irreversible and undetectable um, downgrades on important operating system components, features and parts. Now this has all been mentioned uh, in this blog post. See how a safe breach labs researcher was able to take over the Windows update process to craft custom downgrades on critical OS components, elevate privileges and bypass security features to make the term fully patched meaningless on any Windows machine in the world. Now this is quite an in-depth uh, report and post, so I'll leave this link down below if you want some more information because I'm just going to kind of skim over the highlights for the purpose of this video. Now, this is actually quite um, concerning because what this Windows Down data can do is it can expose a system to thousands of previous vulnerabilities which obviously is caused by reverting fixed security holes into wide open vulnerabilities. So um, if you downgrade a browser or an operating system, obviously that means that all those previously patched holes uh, in the actual OS or browser are then wide open again to threat and attack. So quite a concerning little piece of information. And over and above um, leaving open um, vulnerabilities and so on, a system might also be unable to install upcoming Windows updates, which is concerning, especially in the in regards to the security side of things, or identify issues with help from recovery tools after a downgrade. So the downgrade is un entirely unnoticeable, and most users, um, like your average Joe, won't even know this has happened. So obviously that's where um, your system is left open to threat and attack. Now how this all worked, if we just head back to that um, post, which as mentioned will be down below uh, in the description if you'd like some more information. This is how everything worked. First, the downgrade must be fully undetectable so that endpoint detection and response solutions cannot block the downgrade. Thus, the researcher aimed to perform the downgrade in the most legitimate way possible. Second, the downgrade must be invisible. The downgraded components should appear up to date, even if they have technically um, been downgraded. Thirdly, it says the downgrade must be persistent so that future software updates do not overwrite it. And finally, the downgrade must be irreversible so that scanning and repairing tools will not be able to detect or repair the downgrade. So basically, um, this was according to the research and this is how this all worked regarding the Windows down data and that little piece of software. Now, although this is cause for concern. Something just to take note of here. Um, obviously, it's very difficult to achieve complete safety when it comes to keeping any browser and OS fully patched and up to date to protect you against every little um, security breach and malicious code and software out there. And although that's the case, what will have to happen for this to take place is that um, somebody would have to come into your house and then sit down at your PC and then run the software, okay? So for this actually to be a so-called real threat to your average home user, um, I wouldn't consider this to be too much of a concern because obviously they would have to gain local access to your actual PC and your different devices to run the software. But nonetheless, I thought it was interesting and uh, um, just shows you at the end of the day that nothing is 100% completely safe and secure. And just wanted to put it out there because obviously we talk about Windows and Windows updates on a regular basis on this channel and thought this was quite an interesting topic. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.